is just all the different people that are here and all the different things that seem to come up every single day. Like, there's a group of guys that always goes and plays on the basketball court, and everybody kind of hangs out on the green couches to study and do all kinds of fun things. But basically, CCH is never dull. That's for sure. Um, it's just a fun place to be. Um, community, the community's great. Um, it's good getting to know everyone and just feeling like you have a lot of brothers and sisters to hang out with all the time and chill on the green couches and go outside and play some frisbee. It's a lot of fun. The coolest thing about it is that you get to live with a hundred of your best friends. And where else do you get that opportunity but college and especially CCH. I don't think there will be any other time in my life where I can live with a hundred of my best friends and enjoy every single day like I do here. Uh, so, like, when I first became a Christian, uh, my whole thing was, like, it's about me and God. It's me and God, me and God. Then I got to, uh, I read First John, and uh, he, God talks about if you don't, like, if you can't love your brother who you have seen, then, like, you can't love me. So that kind of changed my whole, like, thinking, I get wrinkled in my brain, so that's when I really uh, got into service, and uh, it talks about like the question of theme verse, and I think uh, just for me, when it comes to service, it would be like when Jesus talks to his disciples, he says, a new commandment I give you, uh, and he says that you love one another just as I have loved you, and I know that could seem vague, but really like, that's what service is, it's loving how Jesus loves us. As for my involvement with different ministries, uh, the service that stuck with me the most which was my first one, uh, is the nursing home. And it, uh, I don't know, like, you wouldn't think that that would be a good place to, like, evangelize, but, I mean, so much, uh, you see people that might not be elderly, they might just be 30 years old and be paralyzed, uh, and just having someone closer to their age that they can relate to uh, so much, um, so means so much to them. There's, I've even experienced, uh, I guess hatred for uh, being a Christian. Uh, people have gotten upset with me for praying with people. Uh, so I mean, it's definitely a, a dark place, but definitely a place where you can uh, shine the light of Christ, uh, show people His love, uh, just be what He's called us to be. Staff-led groups are Bible studies led by the ministers at CCH to get not only CCHers involved, but also people outside um, that aren't particularly living at the house. The Bible study that I'm currently in meets with Lance Marius, our director at CCH, and it is a co-ed Bible study. I meet with about seven girls and three other guys. The Bible study is called Experiencing God, and basically what we're looking at is just different attributes of God and how God is um, the Messiah and how He um, has a plan for our lives and how we can experience Him every day. A Bucket Group is a student-led Bible study that meets once a week to dive into God's Word and to fellowship with each other. Uh, one of my favorite parts about our group is that uh, we're so diverse. Um, it's not just people from CCH, but it's it's people from the campus house, it's from people in other ministries, uh, and just people we've met along the way. Um, and also, another part of the group dynamics is that uh, we're the leaders, but I don't feel like much more leader than anyone else. It's a, it's a group discussion, and everyone contributes, and, and that's probably one of my favorite parts about the whole thing. So I guess really, bucket groups are just more or less us finding people on campus that we relate with, um, and finding those people, and just uh, and growing together uh, in our walks with Christ here on campus. Uh, and trying to be lights for those around us. Uh, the Well is a weekly worship service that we put on here every Wednesday night. Um, and it's got a few different purposes. Uh, one is we want it to be a funnel to the rest of the Christian Campus House's ministries. We want everyone, uh, uh, to that to be the way that they get plugged in um, to the community there and to the service opportunities and to everything else that uh, the Christian Campus House has to offer. I help lead a group with Joe Belzer that plans out all the, all the services. So every, uh, every aspect of the service we, we plan out. And then I also um, kind of host the well and I lead the worship ministry. And so I lead worship up there. And when I'm not leading worship, I'm organizing the band so that uh, someone else can do it. Pick songs and uh, organize practices and stuff. 
I guess the overall main purpose of all this is uh, in 1 Peter it says that we are a holy nation, uh, a royal priesthood chosen by God that we may proclaim the excellencies of Christ. And so that's what we try to do every week is just proclaim his name and proclaim who he is and uh, let him do the rest of the work. Hello, I am Lance Tamaris and I am the director of the Christian Campus House. I hope this video has explained to you and shown you what the Campus House is all about. For 43 years we have been engaged with uh, the body of Christ in helping to promote Jesus and helping to preserve the faith of Christian students and also in helping to pass on the faith that we have with those who need it. We're thankful for supporters, we're thankful for the, uh, the body of Christ that comes alongside of us, and we're thankful that you have sent some of the most outstanding young men and women to us. God bless.